I followed my own rebellious nature. I rejected what was on offer, understood that there had been a great forgetting of what people really are, what freedom really looks like, what tribe really looks like, how people could be together. And I found myself creating a small teepee encampment here in this beautiful wild Welsh valley, which later flowered into a whole new civilization. A village grew up, a spear horse was born which became much more settled and became this village of temples and altars and sacred spaces that have evolved over 27 years in this magnificent valley that somehow we became married to. Waterfalls pouring, the wild water running everywhere. The little remnants of forest are no longer remnants because the community came together so strong that we could buy hundreds of acres of land and let it go wild again and leave it there for the wild primrose yellow to return, for the violets to return, for the carpet of flowers to return. And while the land is rewilding, to let the people rewild. What does their own natural individuality flower and blossom into when it's nourished, when it's addressed, when it's spoken to, when it's praised? And what does the tribe look like when they're honoring each other, praising each other, giving permission to each other to follow spirit? Not with rules and regulations, not with a set religion, but with an acknowledgement of the endless creativity that we have. And honoring what we love, what we most truly care about and most deeply want to share. Running self-inquiry retreats, running rituals, close with nature in some wild place where the Milky Way is over us with the wood smoke in our noses, cooking on the open fire. Proper spiritual practice, deep end meditation, contemplative self-inquiry through enlightenment intensives so that people are being real with themselves, but learning to be raw, honest, and to speak truthfully to each other and collectively forge a new path in order to have culture, bring in ritual and story and all the ancient roots of our pagan culture, our belonging to the earth, our reverence for the natural world that is part of who we really are before the great forgetting began, before the downfall of civilization began, and put them together to make something that is now a spirit horse community, that's more a tribe, exploring the human possibility in a way that resembles the ancient village, the thousands of years of antiquity and the roots of who we are as people. It's an experiment, it's ongoing, our fires are burning, the guest is welcome. Look at the program, see what's happening, if you feel the calling, come on something that draws you, 100,000 welcomes.